Welcome everybody! It's been a while now, so yeah, I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial, Photoshop artwork slash cover slash design work for you guys. In this video we are going to learn how we can achieve this kind of design only using Photoshop and some textures. It's like really easy to use, really easy to understand and to design so you can create like really awesome artworks for various artists or I don't know for yourself if you are a, like a musician or an artist and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in and start designing. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, we have like two versions, main one and version two, or we can call it version one and version two. Let me just rearrange. I mean, not. Let's just, this, this is the version one and let me show you the version two of the final design. This is the version two, so it's, like really easy to, to design. You only need to warp the image of the liquid painting and then duplicate it and add some effects. It's really easy to use. So as you can s probably see from this, it's a design for crooked colors song called Fallin. Link will be in the description of this video. Also in the description of this video, be sure to check it out because you'll have my texture pack to download click it, download it and feel free to use it. So at first, as you can probably see, I have like imported a liquid painting image from the internet and then used a bit of color, color lookup on it. It's teal orange plus contrast 3D L. It's on normal opacity 100% and then apply it over the group of your like layers, right? And then duplicate this one, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 30 pixels, click okay, and then move the layer below your main layer of the liquid painting. Next thing to do is like create a rectangle using your rectangle tool, fill, the, deselect the fill and then we are going to use a five pixel stroke and then try to mimic like the exact rectangle of your original liquid painting image. So I've created this crooked colors text. I've used a font called Stretch Pro. Stretch Pro regular, but, but you need to use Illustrator. So yeah. This tutorial will be Photoshop and a bit of Illustrator. I need to apologize for saying that you only need Photoshop. So you need a bit of Illustrator. If you want to achieve this exact uh, type effect with, the, st with the, the stretched O, you know. So in Illustrator you create, you will need to get the font called Stretch Pro. It's free to download on Behance and go into Illustrator and then type, I don't know, maybe let's say, for example, we are going to type crooked colors, right? So you will type CR double O and the moment when you type double O, it will automatically create the stretched O because this font is made like this and every letter that has like a duplicate, like the same, le the same letter twice, it will stretch it. So it's really interesting and really nice, a nice touch to your designs and then drag and drop it into Photoshop. What did I, what have I done? So drag and drop it into Photoshop and then I've applied some blending options on it. Some uh, like bevel and emboss. You can pause the video and like copy the exact values that I used if you want to achieve this exactly effect. So it will be on inner bevel, the technique Technique will be smooth, 37% up, size 8, soften 0, angle 120, untake, use global light, altitude 26, gloss contour is this one, anti-aliased 
tick, highlight mode on screen, opacity 85%, shadow mode multiply 0, and then we have stroke, and then inner glow, satin, gradient overlay, and in the end we have drop shadow. So yeah, this is like the final the final effect that you will have on your text if you apply these exact values on your text layer. Okay, let's move forward with the with the texture. It's from my texture pack which you can download in the description, you know, check the description, click the link, download it and is like this the texture will be on the screen and you will you need to restretch it to model it on your design to be like the exact same to have the exact same uh, visual and then in the end we have some text and some scratches these are the scratches as always use a brush one pixel scratch like do some stuff like that oh, but use white you know and then put it on uh, normal opacity 50% and you will have like really interesting textures like some grains as you can see in here we have the grain and some scratches it will be like an old stuff old album like that has some scratches on it it I think that it will make your designs more interesting and now the text I have two texts in here two text layers it's using Hatton font on medium at 30 points and then this one it's up to you if you need to use it or add some other text but uh, for now I will use only the bottom text falling by crooked colors director J.A. Moreno production co Mondays and this is the final design guys the first design and for the next one we have to untick this layers like to deactivate them and it's like the base our base image with control T and warp and then just duplicate it and add some filter that will that you will already have been using the Gaussian blur and this is like the second design so it's really easy to do more than one design you know maybe you'll have to erase some parts from here because you will have like some white spaces like this you know and it will give your design a bit of a touch it will blend more with your with your uh, blur as you can see in here you will have like some really rough lines going around and you'll just have to clean your your mess and your to, to to be able to have like a clean final result so yeah that it all guys for this for this design you know it's like really really simple to create yeah so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel because most of you guys that are watching are not subscribed yet and it will really help me a lot also like the like the video and click the notification bell so every time i will post a new design video for you guys you will be the first that will get notified thanks guys see you in the next one take care and wear a mask bye bye